Hey students, welcome to yet another wonderful session. So in today's session, we are going to be talking about chance and probability. So this is from data handling. Now, before I properly start the session, let me just walk you through the flow of the session. So first, I'll be talking about the random experiment. Then we will talk about outcomes and events, followed by what is probability actually. And we will end this session by having a poll question so that we can check on your understanding. Now, I know that all these terminology over here that we can see, that is something you are unfamiliar with. First, we will understand them. We will first understand the concept and then we will move forward and then we move ahead to try out a few questions. All right. So before I start the session, an important update for you. So this is about the Baiju's mini learning program, which is now absolutely free. So basically, it's a limited period, period offer. And to avail this offer, you have to use the code YT free and all of these are in caps over here. So you are getting a lot of benefits in this. So first of all, three sessions, you can actually Take a look at it absolutely free of cost using this code YT free. So the best thing is you can choose your class timings as per your convenience and for whatever subject you want to take the class for. And yet it's a you are getting a dual teacher advantage over here. One on one guidance from the personal mentor and live interactive classes. I'm sure that all of you are enjoying the live classes that we are having here. So I'm sure that you would love the app as well. And after class assignments and assessments also you are going to get. So what are you waiting for? The link is there in the description. Do check that out. And I hope that everybody has joined the Telegram channel. Since the students who have joined it, they already know the benefits that they're getting here. But for the ones who haven't joined it, let me tell you the sessions that we do here, the session PDFs would be shared over the Telegram channel. Some interesting revision questions, some interesting Sunday facts, homework questions, quizzes, as well as session updates also you are getting there. So many things on the Telegram channel. So link is there in the description for Telegram channel as well. So you can go and join it. All right, for now, let's get started. So as I said, one by one, I'll be picking up all these topics. So let's start off with the first one that is random experiment. What does this terminology mean? So when you govern you, when we actually study probability, there are certain terminology that we need to understand. First is what an experiment is. Experiment. Like we normally do some experiments, right? Similarly, an experiment here is whose result is uncertain. That result, we are not sure about what the result is going to be. Let's take an example to understand this. Let's suppose you have a coin, right? Let's toss it. So once you toss the coin, what happens? Either you get a tail or you get a head, right? Head or a tail. Only these are the only options that you have, right? So can you predict the result that whether I would, let's suppose if I'm tossing a coin, can I predict the result that head would come up or tail? We can only guess it. We can't be sure of it. That's why we say that whose result is uncertain. That's what an experiment means. This is the meaning of this term experiment over here. Now let's move ahead to the next topic that is outcomes and events. Let's first understand what this terminology means over here. So talking about the outcomes. So when a random experiment, any experiment, any random experiment takes place, then the results, the results that you get, they are basically called the outcomes of the random experiment. Like on the previous slide, what I did was I tossed a coin. The results were head and tails, right? So I can say that, those were the outcomes of that of that random experiment. Let's suppose if I throw a die, right? What are the possibilities? What are the outcomes that we get? We get one, two, three, four, five, six. These are the outcomes. So there are total six outcomes, right? So these are the outcomes. Outcomes mean the results, the possibilities of the results that you get. All right, moving to the next term, that is event. So what is an event actually? So an event for an experiment is the collection of some desired or favorable outcomes of the experiment. So when we do an experiment, the possible outcomes that we get, right, the possible results that we get, those are the outcomes. Out of those outcomes, the ones which are desirable, which are favorable, those are called the event. Let's take an example. Like if I throw a die, total six outcomes I get, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's what we know. Let's suppose getting an odd number. This is going to be my favorable outcome. Out numbers over here are one, this three and five. These are my favorable outcomes. So I'm going to call them event. Let's suppose getting a number which is multiple of two. So out of these numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, which you see on a dais, what are the multiples of two? This two is a multiple of two. This four is a multiple of two. This six is a multiple of two, right? So all these over here, I would call them as events. So events are basically the favorable outcomes, the desirable outcomes. 
All right, now let's try out a question so that you can get a better understanding about this. Aryan tosses a pair of coins. This time we have pair of coins at the same time. Find the possible outcomes of the event. Now, let's suppose, let's say one coin I have in my hand, one coin you have in your hand, right? Let's suppose we toss them together at the same time. Now, what are the possibilities? Possibility is maybe, let's suppose I have the coin one, you have the coin two. Let's suppose on the coin one, we get we get a head on coin two. Let's suppose on coin one coin, you get a head on other coin, we get a tail. So first outcome, the possibility, the first outcome is going to be T comma H, tails and heads. Another possibility could be that we, it can be vice versa as well, right? It could be heads or tails. Third possibility could be we both get heads. Fourth possibility could be we both get tails. So that's going to be T comma T. That's how we actually write them, right? We put a comma in between and the brackets are outside these. So these are the possible outcomes for an event. All right. So this was about the outcomes and events. So I hope that you have understood this nicely. Now let's move ahead to our next topic. That is what is probability actually? So what is probability? So basically, as the name suggests, it is the measure of degree of uncertainty, right? So we are not really sure of probability. If I talk about this, let's suppose, if I talk about anything, probability can be 100%. Like if you are absolutely sure of something, probability could be 50%, it could be 70%, 75%. So if I tell you something, let's take an example to understand this. Will it rain or not? So this is the case of uncertainty. We are not really sure whether it will rain or not. But yes, how much uncertainty is there? 70%. Let's suppose if I think today it will rain or not. I'm 70% sure, but 30% I'm not very sure, right? So how much uncertainty is there? We calculate using fundamentals of probability, right? The fundamentals that we just learned, we are going to use them. So to find the probability of any event, the formula is number of favorable outcomes upon total number of possible outcomes. Now we've already understood how to calculate that possible outcomes, how to calculate the favorable outcomes. Let's try out a question so that we can understand this better. Find the probability of choosing the letter B from the word probability. Okay, as I said, total number of outcomes are going to be what is all the letters written over here, right? All the letters and favorable would be the letter B. How many times you can see letter B? One and two. Two times I can see letter B. So I can say that number of ways getting a letter B over here is two. Total number of ways of selecting a letter. How many total letters are there? If you count them, all of them, all the letters, they are 11. What is the formula of probability? of choosing the letter B, that's going to be number of ways of getting letter B upon total number of ways of selecting any letter. Let's just substitute the values here, you get 2 by 11. So that's the probability. So that's how we can use this fundamentals to find the probability for of anything. All right, so I hope that you have understood this. Now let's move ahead to the poll question. So here we go. The probability of choosing the letter T from the word constitution is four options you can see over here. I'm giving you 30 seconds to solve this quickly. Try this out and see what the answer is. So I'm just going to give you a hint so that it will help you in solving it faster. We are talking about the probability of choosing the letter T. So that's going to be my favorable outcomes. So from here you have to see how many times T is coming. And total number of outcomes would be the total number of letters that this constitution word over here has. So that's very simple. As we can see over here, okay, so the timer ends here. So what we can say is simply the total number of outcomes. If you see here, total number of outcomes are going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 total number of outcomes over here are 12, right? And favorable outcomes, total are 12, favorable are, we need letter T. So one, two, three, three times it is coming. So probability of any event is basically number of favorable outcomes upon total number of possible outcomes. That's going to be three by 12. So we can reduce it further. If reduction is possible, if, if you can reduce that to lowest terms, please do it. That's going to be one by four. That means option B is the right answer for this question. A simple one. Let, now let's move ahead. Let's try out one more poll question. It says the probability of getting a blue ball from a bag of six balls as shown in the figure. So I'm giving you 30 seconds for this. Now this is very simple. We can see a bag over here. Overall, there are six balls. We need to find out the probability of a blue ball, getting a blue ball. Now this is simple. Question is itself saying, talking about the number of favorable outcomes. Again, we need that. And the total number of possible outcomes. You just have to substitute that in the formula of probability, right? And whenever you are doing it, here it's an MCQ question. Let's suppose if it is a subjective question, so you have to write down the formula first and then you substitute the values. All right. 
So as we can see here, the time is up. So let's see. So total number of outcomes over here are, there are six balls. That's going to be six. And favorable outcomes, probability of getting a blue ball. How many blue balls over are here? There are two blue balls. So I'll write two by six. We can reduce it further and that's going to be one by three. So option B is the right answer for this. A very simple question. So I hope that you have understood this concept really well. And it's time for a homework question. So let's take a look. The number of outcomes for prime numbers on rolling a dice is four options you can see over here. Try this out and let us know the correct answer in the comment section below. All right. And we've already talked about it. Please do. Link is in the description and you know that you have to use the code YT free all in caps. It's a limited period offer. Don't forget that. And the link for the Telegram channel also, it's given in the description. Please do join it. And if you're liking these videos, please hit the like button and share it in your school groups with your friends as well. If you feel that these sessions are actually helpful and do not forget to subscribe the channel so that you do not miss any new updates from us. So I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.